What's good guys, we are back. This is a little different video than usual. Um, we haven't done a full long length video for a single trade. Um, this is, I personally think this is probably one of the biggest sneaker trades in history. It's a close to $350,000 trade. Um, the huge $300,000 cash out that you guys saw the video before this, we traded 1,210 pairs. All of these pairs right here For 50 pairs all grails mostly all grails all good pairs this is 1200 pairs for 50 pairs it is a crazy trade uh, but we have them all right here they overnighted them from florida we're in oregon so all the way across the country we're going to go through them all we're going to pack all these up we're going to get these out in the next day or so but we want to <laughs> it's probably one of the biggest trades in history like i said so we want to document the whole entire thing from start to finish these landed today i haven't even opened them yet so we're going to open these up. We're going to go through them all, show you guys every pair, and then show you guys us boxing everything else up. And it's going to be crazy. So let's get into it. Sorry, guys. We are sharpening out all the labels. You ain't getting no addresses, no hints, nothing like that. So we're going to do this before we start opening them. As most of you guys know, I mean, everyone who follows us on TikTok, Instagram, and all that stuff, we do unboxing videos, whether it's cashing out, trades, and those tend to do very well. So like I said, we have never done a full unboxing video, like long, long video. So this is gonna be the first one, the first cut to the first long video. Might as well go into the red one first, the smallest one, this is only one pair. And like I said, we traded 1200 pairs for 50 pairs. So all these better be pretty good. First one, we have special box red lobster. If I can get this thing out. Special box red lobster signed by Stash. Pretty cool piece. I, I think I already have these pre sold too. I have somebody waiting on these. You got that wooden box with the, the special box sleeve. I think this crate right here is just fire itself. All right. Let's check these shoes out. Oh. All right, gold box. Everyone knows it's a red lobster, y'all know. But it was in this crate, in the special box sleeve. So look at how pristine this gold box is. No blemishes. It's hard to find a gold box like this. So like I said, red lobster. These are grails, brand new still and they've been sitting in the special box sleeve and the crate for obviously years on years. They are missing a few of the special box items, but we have like the blue bands, we have like the picnic napkin type layout thing, paper thing, crazy pair. These are six grand for the special box. Regular box is like 3,500. Special box, tack that price on bro. Six grand, first pair. Quick reminder, there was 1,210 pairs in the trade. When we did the cash out, there was like 1,450 pairs. So we are keeping, so all of these 1,210 pairs came out to out of my pocket, 274,000, um, big number. So we spent $274,000 on 50 pairs. We need to add up to that at least. All right, we are one pair down, 49 pairs to go. Box number two, second pair, off-whites. We have brand new pair, they're yellowed, but they're still DS. Off-white Air Max 90s from the 10 collection. When they aren't yellowed, they're my, my favorite off-white Air Max 90. Um, they're still clean though, I mean, you rock them. They're not bad. These are 17, like 1700 now. Prices on these fluctuate a lot. All right, we have 2011 with the X's on the heels, band Jordan 1 High. We all know this shoe, we all love this shoe. We all know this shoe goes for more than any other band besides 1985's. Original box, everything's in here. These are like three grand, 3200. Brown box, somewhat still intact. All these are usually destroyed. 
but we have a Nike Air Yeezy 2 in the solar colorway, another brand new pair. Every single pair of shoes, all 50 are gonna be brand new. So I'll, I'll save you guys the ears and I'll stop saying brand new on every pair. But yeah, DS, OG all, $6,500, $7,000. Good condition box too, so that's, that's usually a deal breaker. A lot of boxes are destroyed on these and everyone wants a good solid box when they're buying a 5,000 plus shoe, you know? You guys all know my favorite SB, Golden Box, What the Dunks. We have a, another brand new pair. Size nine, DS, a gem, a complete gem. These are amazing. These, they range, I mean, it de depends on the buyer, 13 to $15,000 brand new. Used as like eight grand, but DS. 13,000, the best cause for. We have gray cause four. These are running like 3,200 now. One of my favorite Jordan fours, these are fire. 3,200. Okay, now in the box we have eight pairs of Jordan one highs. I don't know which is which, so we're just gonna start going through them. First up, OG fragment Jordan one highs. Everyone loves this shoe. You have the fragment stamp on the sides, on the heels. These are 3,500. Another size nine. There's a lot of size nines in here. Storm Blue Jordan 1. These are a cheaper pair. 650, 700. Super clean. I personally like these more than like the OG UNCs. I know you guys are going to hate me for saying that, but that dark like Storm Blue. You guys all love the Union Storm Blue, so. All right, another Jordan 1. Arguably the nicest leather on any Jordan 1. The OG 1.0 Shatter Backboard Jordan 1. You see that sparkling on there from that clear coat. 1500. Surprise, another Jordan 1. It's not the yellow pair, it's not the more expensive pair, but not for resale Jordan 1 highs. These are 850, $900. Crease me, not for resale, no photos. So these, little backstory on these. When these dropped, you had to get them in store, but not numbered. The whole thing behind these is they don't want them for resale, which obviously made these go up even more. But if you got these in store, you had to wear them out of the store because they didn't want any DS pairs being out there. But as you know, a lot of stuff gets backdoored and a lot of these and the yellow pairs got backdoored. What did I say, 850, 900? Homage to homes. They're like 500. These, honestly, they're cool. They remind me of bowling shoes. Bing bong. It's like that split. These are the non, these are the numbered pair. So they go for a little bit more, maybe 600. Um, not a crazy difference, but yes, these are the numbered pair. Bowling shoes, bowling alley shoes. They're cool. People love them, people hate them. It's like a, there's no in between. Whoever had them last listed them at 1400. So I might be wrong, they might be going for more, but I know they are not going for 1400. All right, I like the Storm Blue more, but like I said, the OG 2015 UNCs, they're clean. The Icy Blue, I like them, but to wear, Storm Blues for me. These are right around 1000 1200 let's say $1,000, $1,000. All right, there's rumors these might drop this year in 2023. We'll see if they do. The Satin Band, they said they're going to be dropping in women's sizing. Um, we'll see. These ones obviously are the men's sizing, size nine. They have these priced at 5,000. They go for like 3,500. I sell pairs for between three and 4K. So we'll say 3,500. That whole satin uppers, whole satin shoe in general. Um, I actually got a satin shatter backboard, like black and orange shatter backboard. It wasn't, it's a one of one uh, promo sample. I sold those a while back, but like I said, a one of one. So I love the satins. This is the last pair on box number two. It's a sample pair. Whew. Colette Jordan 1 High. These are unreal. I've yet to have a pair of these actually. But we do now. 1997 on that side. 2017 on that side. These are a pricey pair. $15,000. All right, we're done with box number two. First big box. We have three boxes left. All right, big box number two. 
box in general, number three, with the most obvious, we'll go first. Special box, Chunky Dunks. I love this shoe. I can't wear them, but I love this shoe. Chunky Dunk, special box, 2,500. Oh, we got the, I'll show you real quick. The accessories, we got a little tote bag, Ben and Jerry's, Chunky Dunk, and then we have the ice cream scooper slash shoehorn. Slip, slip your toesies into there. Cool pair, 2,500, makes them even cooler. Number two, 2016 Jordan 1 Band. They paid $1,178. Unfortunately, they got taxed. They don't go for that. I'd say 850, 2016 band. As you can see, the whole shoe has that, the gloss, the glitter from that clear coat. They're clean, I love them, but they're not no $1,200. 850. All right, number two, number three. Next to those satin bands, we have the satin royals. These are a lot more limited. These are numbered through 701. So there's 701 pairs made. Very fire pair. Whole entire satin. And what I wanted to show you guys, the insoles on these are fire. It's like a quilted leather. The quality on these are absolutely fire. Same with the satin bands. These things are super nice. And these ones are limited to that 701 pairs. 2,500. 2,500, yeah. DSOG all. 2,500. Replacement box, we did not get a pair of Warren Lotuses. These came with no box, still brand new. 7-Eleven, Nike Dunk, SB. They were gonna release and they didn't. A bunch of pairs went around with no box and then box pairs started coming around. But 7-Eleven Dunks, I think these are 1,500 right now. Um, I was one of the first people to get these and we sold them for 8,000. <laughs> so it was super early, we sold them for eight grand but now they're like 1,500. 15 to 2,000, no box pair, I'll say 1,250. The only SB box in here, besides the replacement box, Tiffany Dunk High, in that Tiffany colorway. Fire pair. I'm not a fan of Dunk Highs, but you know, you can't go wrong with some Tiffs. These are, I might overshoot it, but 600. They're probably between five to $600. Clean pair. All right, there is the rest in this box, all size nine and nine and a half. We have probably 10 size 10 and above, and then the rest are nine, nine and a half. Ooh, rust pink, Jordan one high. These are the Miami Art Basel exclusives, as well as the Igloos. These are the pricier pair, 6,000. 2015 Chicago's. I always wanted a pair, but I just got the lost and founds instead, because 1500 I'll just get that out of the way. $1,500. Um, personally, me, I would rather spend 400 for a pair um, that look a little bit different, but 2015s, you can't go wrong with these, as you guys all know. 1500 Surprise, another Jordan 1. All right. As matching to those rust pinks, we have the Igloo Jordan 1 High in that like icy teal colorway. These go for a little bit less. They're also a Art Basel exclusive. Um, these are brand new, 5,000. Rust pinks are 6,000, 5,000 on these. And that's like the low end. People ask, eight grand for each of them. Pretty crazy, but if you want sales, give people prices that they wanna pay. Because if not, you're gonna be sitting on the shoes forever and you ain't making money. A cheaper pair, we have the neutral gray, Jordan 1 High 85s. They're clean. I'm wearing the lows right now. These are 300. Another one of the 85s, this is the Varsity Red 85 in like the bread colorway. They come with the dust bags. These ones are numbered 23,000. MJ, like 450, I'll say. 450, 500, 450. They're clean. These are ones are numbered. I honestly don't. I don't care. 11,000. $450. And the last pair to box number three. We have 2013 breads. They're clean. 
It's the the one year that everybody doesn't like. Um, but these are clean. They don't have the logos on the back, so they're more wearable than the Chicago's with the, the Jumpman logo on the back. These guys are going for 550. That's probably on the low end, but I don't think they're going for much more than that. I could be wrong. We're gonna go with 550. Box number four. All right, what I say? Box number four. Box number four. Yeah. We got some good SPs in here. We're starting to get to some higher ticket items besides this pair right here. Off-white, zoom fly in the black colorway, 500. I don't really need to say anything else about these, 500. One of my favorite SBs, Day of the Dead. I was born on the Day of the Dead. Third time, Day of the Dead, SB, 5,000. Very hard to find these. Super clean pair, 5,000 bucks. All right, I'm gonna set this pair to the side. I'm not gonna show you guys the box label, nothing like that. This is gonna be the last pair we're gonna go to. We have Nike SB faded pink box in the Stussy Cherry colorway. Clean pair, we all know. Vibrant still, obviously brand new. Cannot go wrong with these. 3,200 for brand new condition, 3,200. All right, in the box filled with older SBs, I'm gonna pull out one of the three newer ones. Orange Grateful Dead SB. These were limited to one skate shop in San Francisco. So these are, the other ones range from 500 to 1,000. These are like 3,500. I sell them for 3,500. Sometimes they're more, sometimes they're less, 3,500. Silver box edition. We have the Heineken Dunk Lows, brand new as well. There's a lot of worn pairs of these. You can't really find brand new. You got the Heineken star right there. Put these on, drink a brewski with the boys for 4,500. Gold box, we're just switching back and forth. Newcastles, everyone loves these. The Travis Scott effect happened on these. These were sitting for like 400, four or 500. Now they're like 1500 after Travis Scott made an Instagram post of him wearing them, but they're clean. That yellow, I don't know about that yellow. They're, it's a hard wear, but it's like, they remind me of, of chocolate milk. Like that, the Yoohoo chocolate milk, 1500. Next one, back to the silver box. Bison SBs, super clean SB. I love these. The SB heads know what these are. The new hype people don't know what these are, but quality is crazy on these. That flare of red on the toe cap makes these pop. Great shoe. These are 1500. I think I, nope, I thought it was a different pair. Push on twos, clean shoe. They're nothing crazy. $550. You can't go wrong with these. I like how the laces match the whole shoe on these, but yeah, they're, they're nothing crazy. $550. All right, purple box, we have two. Okay, Mean Green Supreme SBs, the most expensive Supreme out of the pack. These are 900. They're clean, a little loud, but they're clean. We'll just go straight to the other purple box. We have the black Supreme Stars SB, the Bougie Pandas, 600. Another gold box, the Piets, Piet SBs. They remind me of like the SpongeBob Doodle Bob. These are fire, I love these. I've liked these for a long time. Very nice pair, canvas and suede, and I like the color blocking all that stuff. These are 1500 as well. My favorite diamond SB, you already know. I guess you don't know, because there's three in this box. But we have the Canary Yellow, Friends and Family Diamond SB. There was, don't quote me if I'm wrong, 250 pairs made. Um, they did like some weird raffle thing and you gotta choose the box. Either you got a white, a black, or you got lucky and got the yellow pair. And then they gave a bunch away to friends and family. These are 9,000. You got the canary yellow across the whole shoe and the Tiffany laces, as well as the Velcro Tiffany on the swoosh. I love these, they're fire, man. Another faded pink box, the OG Tiffs. The OG Tiffany SB Dunk Low and that Tiffany blue, 
These are like 3,500. Insanely clean shoe. Everyone loves these. Any SB head in general. It's a grail. It is a grail. I'm surprised these aren't going for more. I could see them. I think these should be the 5K. A pair that most of you guys know, some of you guys don't. Everyone knows the brand, Zoo York. You can find Zoo York t-shirts in Ross, but you cannot find the SBs in Ross. These are extremely rare, especially brand new. Zoo York SB, fire pair. These are give or take 6,000. I could probably get a little bit more, quick sale, a little bit less, but $6,000 is a good price. Brand new with OG box too. Very hard to find brand new in general, let alone with the box, with the tissue paper and everything like that. Lace bag attached, 6K. Last one in the full box. We have one box left. Red Cement Supreme SB Lows. I've always loved this pair. 1800 on the low end for brand new. I've always loved these. If you can even see the insoles match to say the Supreme in them, pretty cool pair. The OG, I guess not the OG OG, but one of the OG Supreme Dunks. Love all that red. I've always been a fan of these. All right, this is a box packed with grails. I think this, we got lucky because this is the one. Best for last, I didn't even try to do that. This is a replacement box because they didn't make a box for this pair. We have the prototype Freddy Krueger SB, absolute grail. This is the prototype before they made the Freddy that you guys know of now, that's still not out. You got the bigger blocking stripes. These are crazy. There's probably, I'd say there's a handful, less than a handful of pairs in circulation still. I mean, in circulation, probably three or four pairs, if that. These are easily 40,000. So that's, that's a big hitter right there, 40 grand. Another pair, I'm putting these to the side for last with the other one. We're gonna get back in here. All right, big red box. We have DS, Red Octobers. Brand new Red Octobers, size 13. Money size right here, big boy size. You don't find a lot of sizes above, like 11. Size 13, $14,000. Brand new. I know everything going on with Kanye is kind of wishy-washy, but regardless, these will always be a grail for any sneakerhead. 14,000. Next box, another big red box and another DS, Red October. This one is a size 11 and a half. We have that 13. We have an 11 and a half as well. Another $14,000. I've sold pairs upwards of 18,000, but like I said, you want to sell pairs. You don't want to hold on them for the high. Some people do. They had them for 20K, 14,000. Next one, one of my favorite Jordan 4s. Look at that box. I posted a pair of these on our Instagram recently. All the way from the Philippines, Manila, Jordan 4. Limited to 150 pairs ever made. Like I said, limited to 150 pairs ever made. This is number. 18, number 18. I've never had a sub 20 of these. I've had a few pairs, but they're always, you know, 100 and above. Quality on these is crazy. These are 23,000, 23,000. Crazy pair, love the colors, love the quality on these. They go hard. Another cheaper-ish pair, special wooden box. You got the little panda emblem right there. You got the pigeon right there. We have the Pigeon Panda Dunk Lows in the special box. You see the Pigeon right there. And if you could see, you have a little panda on that side etched in. Super fire pair. You got the little Japanese red gold card. These are between 1500 to 2000, I guess. Um, we'll meet in the middle, 1750. All right. I have a lot of pairs of these. You guys know I do. Love that box. 1994. Size 11, bigger size than this. Chicago Jordan 1 High, brand new as well. You can't get a lot of brand new pairs of these. They just hit different. These are, you kind of name your own price with 94s, um, between three to 5,000, we'll say four grand. I've sold pairs for 6,000, I've sold pairs for 4,000, we'll say 4,000. Blue box, blue and black box. 
De La Soul, Dunk Lowe's. These aren't going for anything crazy. I remember these sitting actually, and I, I had a buddy, he picked up probably 20 pairs retail and held them until they're like 500 each, so that was a come up. I never picked up any, but I love this shoe. Right now they're like 800, probably. Rest in peace. Last pair in the box, and then we have these two other ones. These are the three biggest grails. The two are the biggest grails. This one's one of them, along with like the Minnows and stuff like that. We have, it's in a Jordan 4 box because we don't want to damage the box. 1985 brand new Jordan 1 bread. I'm gonna open these up and show you guys. I'll tell you the price now, 25,000. I won't take a dollar less. I'll hold on to them. They'll be, we all know they're gonna be a $1,500,000 shoe one day. So they are for sure worth 25,000 right now. 1985, these are what? 38 years old, brand new, never worn. Crazy pair. This is my first time having a DS 1985. Um, I've almost had a few DS Chicago's in 1985, but I have not yet. Finally got myself a pair. But like I said, I'm not gonna take anything less than 25K. I'd rather just hold them, sit on them for a while. You see that tag is still attached. Crazy pair. All right, we are to the last two pairs. Let's get the last box out of here. Two silver boxes. We have two pairs of Paris SBs. Let's get into these. Box number one, this is a size nine. Replacement, same era replacement box, brand new. These are nearly impossible to find, especially brand new. The pair with the replacement box, I'd put 75,000. I can get 75K out of these. Crazy. And number two, OG box, size nine and a half. They have that $100,000 price tag on there. Clean 100K, OG box, never even laced up. I'll put that, I can get easily 85K out of these. Um, if I hold them, I could put them at like saw the bees. I can probably get 100,000 out of them. Um, but quick sale, quick-ish sale, 85 grand. Brand new, never laced up. So I have, I have two of the 202 pairs ever made. Part of that city pack, crazy. Let alone one pair, it's it's crazy to see somebody have two DS Paris's. So we have two. Those are the two right foots right there. Absolutely insane. I've this is my first time having a Paris in general. So from going to no Paris's to two brand new pairs, blows my mind. All right, guys, there we have it. I hope this adds up. I already did my calculations. Um, we're probably gonna make close to 100,000 on this whole deal, which is crazy, but I mean, we did put $275,000 into it. So expected return, uh, 100 grand profit, give or take, because we did keep those 250 pairs out of the 1500 as well. So I'm aiming for right around a little over 100 grand profit. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below, do you think this is probably the biggest sneaker trade in history? $300,000, one third of a million dollar sneaker trade. Absurd, I never thought I would do a trade this big, but we hit each other up. They wanted all the cheaper pairs that, you know, the 1200 pairs. You know us on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. We sell all the grails. We do trades, sell all that stuff for grails. So we figured why not, let's do a huge trade. Um, yeah, absolutely insane. We're gonna show you guys us boxing up all these pairs, get some more footage of that. But these are the 50 pairs that we did the trade for. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> all right, so we have like 36 extra large Home Depot boxes. We could fit between 10 to 14 pairs, depending on the size per box. Um, we have a fat stack over there as well that we're gonna tape up after. We have 16 different, okay, so they're having us send to 16 different stores. Shipping all the 16 different stores. So we have 16 different stacks of each pile of shoes that's going to each store. And we're gonna individually ship out 1200 pairs to 16 different stores across the country. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. Like I said, we have all the boxes right here. 
big boxes I can fit in them. And then we have probably 60 more boxes over there. It's gonna be like 100 Home Depot extra large boxes, which if you know how big these are, they're like two feet by two feet by two feet. They're huge. I can fit in one of these things. So 100 of these, we're gonna be stacking them up super high. And yeah, it's gonna, gonna take a while. So we're gonna get into that and start packing. First of 110 boxes, number one is done. Good morning guys, it's day two. Um, we're 11 boxes in, we have five boxes left. One, two, three, four, yeah, wait, two, four, yeah. Five left to pack up. Um, so we're at like what, 100 extra large Home Depot boxes so far. No, we're like 60. Um, we've been doing this, it was all night last night, we just came back, it's like noon right now. Um, going through all the boxes, like I said, we're almost done with that, as you can see. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna stack them all up. We're gonna take a picture of all of them. It's like 100 plus Home Depot, extra large Home Depot boxes. You guys know how big those are. They're big. So we got a time lapse. We got some drone footage of us, you know, packing up the, taping up the boxes, packing up the shoes. It's gonna look pretty cool. So I think it's what, day three of filming this video. Um, as you can see, we have all the boxes stacked up on both sides. It's like, I'm six foot three, so it's almost seven feet tall by, there's like 97 total boxes. So it's like 30 feet long, seven feet tall. We are all stacked up. They're gonna be going out tomorrow morning, but that was the trade. I personally don't think there has been a bigger sneaker trade in history, $300,000, over $300,000 there was 1,210 pairs, 450 grails. Let me know in the comments how you guys think we did. Also, let me know out of all those 50 grails, which one is your favorite? Whether it's a $1,000 pair or that $100,000 Paris, which one was your guys' favorite? Also, remember to shoot us a follow on Instagram and TikTok at Sunset Sneakers and like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube right down here. With that being said, I will see you guys next video. Peace!